Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Happy Friday. This is being brought to you by learningcomputer.com. Today, our topic is how to manage your email inbox, part one. Today, we are going to strictly focus on Gmail inbox. My name is Cash Magal. So what will we cover today? Well, let's face it. How many times have you heard something like this? You, did you get my email from two weeks ago? Them, no, I did not get it. Did you check the spam or trash folders? Nope, I did not do that. Of course not. Them, wait, it went to trash. Looks like I got it two weeks ago. Yes, that's when I sent it. So sad. Sorry about that. All good. So this happens more often than you think. And obviously this also affects productivity and timeliness because you may be sending something to a customer or prospect and they don't receive it. You're thinking they have read it, not taken any action. They have not gotten the email and wondering why did you not send the email? So there's lots of issues with email management. So today we are uh, strictly going to focus on managing emails and controlling spam in Gmail. Um, but first let's get going. Um, so, um, Let's talk about the Gmail lingo first, okay? Um, in case you, you may not be 100%, your email inbox is really where you will receive your email messages, okay? Uh, this is also known as incoming email. Spam, which is my favorite, is generally any bogus email that is coming from automated email systems. Examples could be, you know, those special meds that you need, uh, car warranty, of course, free travel, or my favorite cash is one five million. That's a good day. Happy Friday to you too. Folders, um, email folders, which are commonly known as labels in Gmail are essential email placeholders. So let's say you great, you know, get something from um, your favorite store that they send every month because you're, they're your BFF. Well, you don't need to see that. You can easily put them in a folder or label and we'll tackle that. Now, email filter or rules are something specific that you define, okay, that will process your email so you don't have to. I mean, how cool is that? It's something that, you know, will automatically take care of that. And this is one of the biggest things that we run into with our clients or even students I teach at a college is they're not using the filters effectively. Now, you can define these filters by sender, okay, by the subject matter or even words. And these are under settings in Gmail. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Gmail also has what they call category tabs, okay? So they're using uh, three, I believe. You have the, you know, the inbox, essentially, the social and the promotional. And so let's take a look at that um, next. So I'm logged into my Gmail account. I'm just using a very um, basic layout. You can change these if you want. So the first thing I want to show you is the settings are going to be right here where the gear head is on the top, okay? When you click on that, you can try different, uh, like for example, if I click here, you will notice that, uh, uh, let's let's try this, see how it just kind of changed my layout. So you can you can play around with the layout, that's, the, that's you know, your favorite, I guess. The second thing is down here, this is also where you can customize your email. So watch what happens if I click on important, uh, Google will try to load up your emails and then you can go to even another option called unread first. Okay, and then default. And if you want to see all the settings, you click on see all settings, right? And you're going to be, we're going to be focusing on filters and blocked addresses. Okay, those are the main areas. So again, the way I got to this is through the gear head. Now, if I go back to my inbox, um, here are the tabs that I was talking about. Okay, you have your primary emails, you have the social emails that, now Gmail does this automatically, right? See, I'm getting a lot of emails from my friends, Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot. And then, of course, you have promotions that are, you know, companies selling you stuff. You may be on a, on a list or something like that. So Google actually does a great job already. Uh, you don't have to do this, but still, you know, you may be getting still emails. Okay, so let me go back and then let's look at our next topic. Today, we are really going to focus on Gmail. I'm so sorry. We're not going to solve all of uh, planet Earth's problems today. We can do that tomorrow, but let's tackle the following thing. I want to cover a few things here. So first of all, I want to automate deletion of unwanted emails. Okay, I'm getting stuff from eBay.com and futures.com. 
Um, how do I do that? So we'll look at that, right? Then I'm also going to move wanted email. So I'm getting, you know, these are the ones that you don't want to delete, but you want to categorize them, okay? I'm going to use Airbnb, Airbnb as an example. And then there may be situations where, you know, your email system is bypassing social and promotional emails, and it's putting into your inbox, like I have some emails coming from US Triathlon, because I'm a nutty triathlete. And then finally, you can also unsubscribe from wanted emails, okay? So demo, shall we dance? Let's take a look at this. I'm going to, let me just copy this one and futures.com because as you know from my videos, I'm unable to type at times. So here you go, I'm in, in my inbox. The first thing you can do is come up here and where it says search email, just type in, you know, the sender. Now here you go. Okay, I'm getting a lot of these emails, not that often, but still, I'm not trading anymore. Uh, so what do I do? You can, you can first of all, you can select all of them, right? And you can delete it. You can do that right there. Okay, this is gonna do a manual delete. But what you can do is you can actually select one of these emails, right? And then you can, uh, <clears throat> in fact, let me just select this email. You can, you can go up to these little vertical dots, if you will, okay? So click on that and then you are going to select where it says filter messages like these, right? So this takes you to the filtering slash uh, organization area and you can change things in here. You can also put stuff in your subject, has the words Viagra in it, I don't know. But I'm going to simply leave that as is and click on create filter, right? And so I don't wanna see these emails at all. So I'm going to just select delete down here. We will look at the um, putting it in a label, but this one, I'm just going to delete it, okay? And then you create the filter. So again, you, you found that email, you clicked on this one, and you said filter, right? And then you chose to delete them. Now, where did that filter go? Again, let's go back to the gearhead on the right, okay? And then I'm going to go to see all settings, and then I'm going to go to filter. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, and you just notice this right here. It says any emails that are matching from ampfutures.com, just delete them. I, I don't even wanna see them, period, okay? I've already made too much money, no. Uh, now this one is interesting though. I would like to move um, eBay. Actually, let me even go back. Let me go to this filter. Airbnb is a better example. So, so let me find emails from Airbnb, right? I would like to keep them. Now, real quickly on the left side, you can see these um, These are the labels down here. You can see we have I've already created some labels. If I go to meetup.com, my favorite um, email, not spammer, you know, I have about 4,000 emails that I did not see that. How cool is that? So these are the labels on the left. We don't have a label. I just wanna make sure we don't have a label called um, travel, right? So I'm going to create a label for Airbnb emails that I'm getting. So let me just search for Airbnb, okay? And see all of these emails that I'm getting? Uh, I haven't traveled a whole lot, but a little bit of travel. So what am I gonna do again? I'm going to create a label, right? What you can do is you can select again, one of these emails, you go up to these um, little um, icons and you're gonna say filter messages like these, okay? And you can do other things in here too, but I'm going to do this one. Now this one, I'm not going to delete it, right? I'm going to put it in a new folder label called travel. So again, you create filter, okay? And then it says, uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna skip your inbox so that that way it doesn't even go to your inbox, okay? And then you are going to apply this label, okay? Choose a label, I do not have a label here, so I'm going to select new label call it travel, right? Make sure I type that right. And then it says, uh, you can't do it because, oh, travel to, I don't know. I guess it doesn't, uh, let me try this one instead. So they give me an error, but so what are we doing here? Anything, let's go through this. Anything from airbnb.com, it's going to skip your inbox and it's going to go to apply the label label travel to create the filter right and again now if you go to the left side 
Okay, it's it's going to it, it's no there's nothing in there right now. Uh, in fact, what you can also do is you can come back here and I can put all of them in in that label. So let's try that. So you select all your emails, right? You you click on this little checkbox here, and then I'm going to say um, labels. I'm going to put them in travel right there. You see that? Okay. And what is that going to do? It's going to do magic. This is called email magic. This is the best magic out there. Now, if you go to travel, right, here you go. I mean, how cool is that? So now you don't even have to worry about them showing up in your email system, right? And you can do that. I mean, here's another one, right? Wix.com, I could do that. My my email is pretty good. This PayPal, you know, whoa, somebody paid me or it looks like I paid it some, somebody, right? Amazon, some of these other things I can definitely clean up, but I think that's good. Oh, uh, one more thing here, unscus, unsubscribe, right? So another thing you can do is go back to your inbox, right? Search for the word unsubscribe. A lot of these emails that are coming to you, they may be, you know, they may give you an option. So here's one, SEO tips and tools, uh, Dropbox, Word Tracker, Let's go ahead and let's uh, uh, let me see. I'm just looking for one here. Let me look at this one. I'm not sure. So there you go. So this is from Plano. I'm I'm going to go down here and notice where it says unsubscribe, right? So you just simply click on that. That should that should send them a message. There you go. So it says unsubscribe. Yep, Plano. Bye bye. Um, I don't have a reason because I'm making a YouTube video. Okay, YouTube, and then there you go. <laughs> They're going to be like, why YouTube? What's going on there? All right, so that's essentially one way you can control that. I do have a couple more things before we wrap up here. And feel free to hit us up, by the way. Um, let me just mention our website while we're doing this. Um, it's learningcomputer.com. We are an e-learning company. We have hundreds of blogs and pages, some video training, Check us out. We are based in Plano, Texas. Contact us. You can also send me an email. So just wanted to mention that first. But let's do this. One more thing I want to tackle is, you know, what about valid emails, Sir Cash, right? So I hear you loud and clear. Um, spam, you know, controlling spam is one thing. But then what if you have all these valid emails, right, coming from your clients or your favorite BFF or whatever? How do you how do we tackle that, right? So so we're going to do that again. Um, we're going to we are getting emails from Cora that we also use actually to drive business. You also want to check your spam and trash folders for any good emails that may end up there. OK, you also want to check, like I said, your social and promotional categories uh, within Gmail for valid emails. They may be going there that you want them to send it to the primary uh, category. OK, and all these steps are going to uh, Make sure that valid and important emails actually end up in the inbox. So that's the other challenge, right? We want to get rid of the spam, but we want to keep the good ones, right? How do we do that? Let's go back and tackle that. So, so first thing first, what I want to do, making fun of the joke earlier, you want to go back, you want to be checking your spam folder. Definitely, I, I do it once a day, but maybe once a week at least, right? Um, come down here and we're just simply going through and looking for emails that were valid. So I just found one right here. So Vandana, she's a web designer. She works with our company. This is a valid email. So what do I do? I'm going to click here, right? And then, you know, why did it end up? You're just gonna say report not spam. So that's gonna help the filters basically make sure that that email is, you know, okay. And so you just wanna go down here you want to make sure everything is good. All of this other stuff. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. This is a nonprofit we work with also. So this one, I'm not sure why this ended up here, but uh, we'd want to add this to our inbox too. But uh, so that's one thing you want to do. You also want to go to your trash folder. Make sure, you know, and I have my wonderful friends at Dig. So I'm going to leave that one as is. But uh, let me go back and also, so that was one. So essentially you want to control the spam and make sure that there's no valid emails in there. If not, just push them back to your regular folder. The other thing I want to do is I want to go to social, right? And make sure that there are no 
emails that are ending up here. So for example, Cora, like I mentioned, this is um, something we are tracking right now. So I'm going to actually do the same thing. I'm going to move all the emails from Cora into a label called Cora. Okay. So I, um, I go to the email again one more time. I click on this drop down here or this message and say filter messages like these, right? Everything that's Cora. In fact, I'm going to remove um, all of this and just any email that's coming from Cora.com. So that's right there. Okay. I'm going to create a filter. I'm going to say uh, skip the inbox and then definitely go into a label. I'm going to create a new label again. I'm going to call it, uh, let's just call, call it uh, Cora. Okay. Cora, I don't know, emails. And then I say create. So once again, what is this going to do? It's going to, anything that's coming from Cora.com, it's going to skip the inbox in and it's going to end up in, over here, right? So here you go. And so again, if I go on the left side, you'll see that there's, there's, you know, there's nothing in here, but the next email will end up there. I believe that's all I wanted to cover here. I just I want to make sure that there are no other issues. So again, you know, things you want to do is you want to control spam. You want to, uh, bad messages, you can just delete them. The other ones, you can uh, send them to a label slash folder. You want to be checking your spam folder for any valid emails that you want to move to your primary or inbox, essentially. And then uh, just, yeah, monitor these things once a week. Um, lastly, like I said, uh, if, if you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe to our channel, visit our website. Again, it's learningcomputer.com. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. My email is cash at learningcomputer.com and we will see you soon. Have a good one.